A very good day to you. Once again, it's just so good to be with you on this program. I want to speak to you today about the divine word of God. Divine word. This is our new Bible. I'm so, I'm so excited to have this Bible. It's called The Bible with Grassroots Reflections by Angus Buchan. Biggest honor in my life. The New King James Version. And in Afrikaans, it's in the New Living Translation. I want to speak to you about the divinity of this book. This book is not just a book. This is Jesus Christ in print. I remember reading the life story of Dr. Billy Graham. He's one of my heroes. I think he's 95 years old, if I'm not mistaken, today. And he's still going on for the Lord. When he was a young evangelist, there were three evangelists in America that were filling the stadiums right across America. And Billy Graham was the junior of the three. The other two were much more advanced than he was. Anointed speakers, great men. The one guy was an extremely good-looking guy. They tried to get him to play the lead role in that mega movie called The Robe. And uh, these, these guys were just so successful. Billy Graham was the farm boy. He's, he, he was born on a dairy farm. He always says he didn't do too well at school because <laughs> he had to get up so early every morning to milk the cows before he went to school. He ended up sleeping in class. I understand that. So do my children, even more so. But when Billy was called, he was called by God. And this book became everything to him. After a while, he started struggling a bit to understand some portions of the Bible, probably mostly in the Old Testament. And one night, under the conviction of the Holy Spirit, he took his Bible and he went out into a forest. And he says there was like a sawn off tree there, a stump. And he took the Bible and he put it on the stump. And then he got on his knees and he prayed. And he said, Lord, I do not understand everything in this book. But today I choose to believe by faith that this is your word from cover to cover. And after that, he got up and he went out. And as they say, the rest is history. Because he literally turned the world upside down. I have been to his museum in um, his hometown of Montreat, North Carolina. And I want to tell you, you cannot believe how God has used one man to impact this whole world. Nine U.S. presidents he mentored. Nine U.S. Pres presidents, starting from... Harry Truman going right through to um, uh, Bill Clinton. I want to say something to you folks. This man was used by God because he believed in the whole word of God. Now the sad part of the story is the other two evangelists, they went back to university and they started to study the word. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but they did it with the purpose of pulling it apart. Folks, I don't know how many people I have met that are always trying to disprove Christianity. Have you noticed that? There's always something wrong. They don't disprove the newspapers. They don't disprove, dispute the, uh, the news on television, but they always dispute God's Word. Well, when these two men left university, they told Billy Graham that he was, you know, he was, um, he was out of tune. They've got the truth now. Well, I want to tell you, both of them, both their ministries collapsed. The one man died as a pauper. That means the, the government had to bury him. And the other man died somewhere up in, in Canada in a little bachelor one-room place. Folks, don't question God. Believe. God bless. We trust that you have been blessed by today's message. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.